Hello, everybody! stuff happened to me and Jehu and Rupert and I just can't wait. So take it away, Mr. Narrator. Thanks, Ollie. Last time, Ollie and his brothers were led to the Roman Colosseum where they watched Hannibal battle the hyenas. Soon, it was their turn. They survived. But the next battle promised to be even worse. Which brings us to our next story, called The Great Battle. The crowd disappears, talking about what a sensational show it was. Thelonious takes several days to recover. Are you awake? Some <sighs> king of the jungle. I never met an elephant like Hannibal. I'm lucky to be alive. Well, Nero has some worse things planned for you next week. I've been speaking to everyone. It's time to make our move. Our move? What do you have in mind? An escape? How are we going to get back? Swim? No, we'll go back by boat. Just like the way we came. Here's how we're going to do it. While Ollie was telling Thelonious the plans he had made, Jehu's ship docks. He borrows a horse and rides up to find Ollie. I'm looking for the Circus Maximus. Can you help me? Sure, but you've already missed the show. Huh? The next one won't be until next month. Very left, once you get over that hill. Tell you what, go ahead and cut through my vineyard. And cut through Nero's vineyard. His place is right alongside the Colosseum. By the way, where'd you get that medal? The Pharaoh of Egypt, Ramses. Well, be careful when riding through Nero's estate. You never know what type of animal's running about. Whoa, whoa! Good horse. Ah. Ah. Let's go. I am Jarius Legionare. By Nero's orders, you are under arrest for poaching. Come peacefully. Indeed, I will come. I will welcome a chance to explain. I was not- Save your explanation. Hey! Hail Caesar! We have brought the poacher. Will you not kneel before your god and emperor, young poacher? I kneel before no man, just the Lord Jehovah. I was not poaching, Emperor Nero. Your leopard attacked my horse. I merely defended him. What is that medal you wear around your neck? I come in peace, fair Nero. The medal I won in a chariot race in Egypt. I come to rescue my animals from slaughter in your circus. Does one of your animals talk and sing and call himself Ollie? Yes. Have you news of him? Is he alive? Yes. The cursed animal is alive. He made a mockery of the entire circus, convincing the animals not to devour one another. The other donkeys, are they alive as well? Yes, they as well. What have you to say about the charge against you? Your Majesty, your animal shall live. Have your physicians examine him. I can kill a black bear from 50 paces and a lion from 100. I did not throw a sufficient force to kill him, only to knock him unconscious. Very well then, young Israelite. Kneel before me and swear allegiance to me as your god, and you shall go free, as well as your animals. 
Very well. You have chosen your own death. You shall face the lion in the circus, and your little donkey <gasps> shall face them too. Cursed Christians with a holy God, let your Jesus save you, even if he can hear you. Gods, take this one what? away. Jehu, so full of hope about rescuing Ali and his brothers, found himself in the Roman animal cages with nothing to lie on but bare floor. I'm a free bird. A free bird now. Yes, I am. Rupert. I'm a free bird. Rupert, over here. Uh, Jehu, how did you even... Uh, oh, oh, well, don't even try to explain. I thought you were getting the escape vessel ready for everybody. Nero threw me in here. Well, you're in the same boat with the rest of them. Rawr! No, worse, Nero sentenced me to fight the lions in the Colosseum. That does sound bad. If only Alondra knew, I wouldn't even be able to kiss her goodbye. I wish there was some way to let her know. <laughs> Rock, smooth feather, I need a favor. Do you think you can give this note to Alondra in Bethany? That's a long way back. Is it that important? Yes. She may never get to see Jehu again. Nero has sentenced him to, to face the lions in the Colosseum at the end of the month. She's going to have to come quick if she ever wants to see him again. I'll do it for you because you're my friend. I'll do it just for you. Bye-bye. Smoothfeather found a westerly wind that carried him to Israel in no time. He found Alondra in the middle of a dinner with the important people of Israel who had gathered to welcome her cousin, the Pharaoh of Egypt. Alondra left the table to get some fresh air after the meal. Well, hi. How are you, little fella? You look like you've come a long way. I'm looking for Alondra. I have an important note for her. A note? <laughs> this just looks like chicken scratch. Well, who wrote it? Rupert, he told me to give it to you. What's wrong? Did Jehu find Ollie? Is everything okay? Rupert said if he didn't come right away, you may never get to see Jehu again. He's supposed to face the lions in the Colosseum. Alondra, Alondra, come back in. The guests are wondering where my beautiful cousin is hiding herself. What's wrong? You're crying. It's a note from Rupert. Jehu's in trouble and I need to go right away. How am I ever going to get to Rome? They're putting him in the Colosseum to face the lions! This note? Th this note is just chicken scratch. Who are you? Smooth Feather. Rupert gave me the note. Jehu is in trouble! Can you show us where we need to go? Mm-hmm. I have a royal craft right there in the harbor, my beautiful cousin. <gasps> I would be happy to take you. The Pharaoh's ship sailed to Rome, aided by the oarsmen and guided by Smooth Feather. We're on our Jehu was outfitted with a new suit of clothing for the circus where he would battle the lions. Luisha was given the job of crafting protective leather armor for Ali and his brothers for their fight against the hyenas. Is that too tight, Ali? No. Just make sure my stomach's covered up. Those hyenas have sharp teeth. You're the first animal I've ever known that could talk. Aren't you even a little afraid of that pack of hyenas? A donkey has never faced a wild animal like that before and lived. What good does it do to be afraid? I've got to face them anyway. I might as well be brave. Jehu, I see they've outfitted you as well. Well, Ollie, tomorrow might be our last day. I heard they haven't fed the lions or hyenas all week. I'll sure miss you, Ollie. I just wanted to let you know you're the best donkey a fellow could ever hope to meet. I'll miss you too, Jehu. I'll wait for you.
me, Jehu. You just practice your sling. You're the first person Nero has ever put into the ring to face the lions. They had to put in more seats. Make way for the Emperor Caesar Nero, ruler pontificate of the universe! <laughs> well, <gasps> what is the name of this one? Uh, Thelonious, your majesty. Has he eaten anything? He seems very weak. Where are the other lions? There are four others in the other pen. None have been fed as your instructions. And the hyenas? Are they famished as well? Yes, your Good. majesty. Good! For tomorrow they will taste the blood of that oh, insolent uh, Christian uh, Hebrew uh, and his singing uh, donkey. Uh. I shall relish every drop of blood they spill. Make sure uh. they get no food. Ali, Whipper, Isa, Jeremy, Esau, and Jehu gather together to pray for their safety and for God's mercy. Unknown to them, Rupert had arranged for his seagull friends to airlift food there she blows. and drop it into the cages of lions and hyenas. Hey, what's up? Rupert, where have you been? We go into the ring today. Have you forgotten? Did Hannibal say he'd help us? Hmm, I don't know if we'll need him. The hyenas and lions aren't going to be too hungry. We heard the slave boys say they haven't fed them in a week. They haven't, but I did. They had their own three-course meal. There go the waiters now. Bye. See you soon. Seagulls? How'd you do it? So, where are we going? Anybody? A anybody? <laughs> Ramses. He's on his way right now with your wife, Alondra. They should be here in time for the games. Actually, they should get here in plenty of time because the games are going to be late. How do you know that? Rah, oh, easy. I stole their keys to all the cages. Huh? It'll take them hours to pick all the locks and get the animals out. Rah, bye. With the keys gone, the crowd in the Colosseum grew restless. They watched the ostrich race, they enjoyed the loot players and the jugglers, and they watched the wrestling matches between the slaves. But nothing could satisfy their bloodlust. They were there to see the innocent animals and Jehu be torn to shreds. Finally, late in the day, the keepers managed to get all the cages open and brought in the lions. Nero motioned for the crowd to be quiet. Roman citizens, today you will see an insolent Hebrew Christian fight these lions. He says he's not afraid and acknowledges no God but Jesus, son of Jehovah. I say his blood will be avenged for the disrespect he's shown me. Emperor, am I to be allowed to use my sling against five of these ferocious beasts? <laughs> or am I expected to battle with their sharp claws with my bare hands? Nero.
Nero was furious. Never before had he been made such a fool of. In the name of the Lord God of Israel, stand your ground, Roman. Let the hyenas in! <laughs> Have you nothing greater, noble Nero? Gotta shut the mouths of the wild beasts. Your Majesty, in our harbor is the Pharaoh's vessel from Egypt. Ramses, grandson of Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. They're on their way here. Offense to that treaty. Your family? Who, the Hebrew? Yes. He's married to my cousin. Where's your decency? Very well. They shall live. They shall return with you. The animals as well. Very well. The animals. Yes. All of them. God did not make them to be sacrifices to sport for your amusement. They are meant to be loved and cared for. You're a disgrace of the human race, Nero. Follow me to Africa. The animals parade around the ring and see as the crowd cheers them on. They march out in single file to the pharaoh's boat waiting in the harbor, where they all head for home. We're all going back to our homes, to our family and our friends. We're going home again. We're all. Forgive us for our sins We promise never to steal again And to work 100% We're all going back to our homes To our family and our friends We're going home again We're all going Our family and our friends We're going home We're going home Where am I? 
That was a great adventure. Please. Hi there. It's that time again. Welcome to Farmer John's Corner. Take it away, Farmer John. That's coming along nicely. Well, hello there. Did you ever notice how important music is to Donkey Ollie? Music surrounds you, grabs you, and, and makes you part of the story. For example, if I were to suddenly tell the background music to stop, well then, things quite aren't as interesting anymore, are they? On the other hand, if I were to tell the background music to be happy, <laughs> isn't that fun? Something dangerous is going to happen. I can just tell from the background music. Huh. That's better. <laughs> There's a lot of different kinds of music in Donkey Alley. Here's some examples. There's always hope while the sun is shining. There's always hope. Remember when Elizabeth and Jehu were hanging in a net from a tree? Their song helped set the sad mood for this part of the story. Not as long as we have failed. It just can't end this way. We must pray and try and be brave. There are quiet songs. We believe. We believe. Only Jesus can do the impossible. We believe. They're happy songs. You can fly if you want to. You can fly if you want to fly so high. So high. They're teasing songs. Frank never thought to go in home. By the end of month, you'll be in Rome. I'm afraid there's not a thing you can do. I think they remember you. You're just a memory, a worn out shoe. But now you've been replaced by someone new. Come on now. You know it's too late. Hold the concrete well, it's too late. You're over your head, it's too late. It's just too late. And there's even songs for the villains, like the Pharaoh. I admit it's pretty crazy hearing sing about it too. It doesn't mean I'll give in, give the children back to you. You said your piece impressive, I heard you loud and clear. I've got one at self, but yet they're even here. Skittily be bopping bird now. Skittily be bopping, don't scare. Skittily be bopping bird now. Skittily be bopping, don't scare. Now, let's not forget about Lucius. Zombies, little zombies, trembling at my whip. Don't expect any kindnesses, I won't bend an inch. Zombies, little zombies, I'll work you to the bone. You'll be too busy to ever think about ever going home. Yuck, what a nasty guy. So you see, the kinds of music played can affect the way you feel. Um, can, can affect the, the, the mood of, of the... Someone's playing my theme music. It must be my friend Rusty. Let's join in.
Whoa. Very good, Rusty. Wonderful. Can you guys help me with a music project for my class? Ooh, music project? Oh, what'd you have in mind? Anything can be used as an instrument. Use that as a drum. Ooh. Mr. Shivers, use that mm. as like a whistle. I'll use this as a shaker. And Farmer John. What about me? You use Clarence. Oh. So tap him oh. against the keyboard. All right. back by Tuesday. I'll do what I can. Thanks a lot, kids. We've had a great time, and we hope you've enjoyed these adventures of Donkey Ollie. I hope you liked the show. Goodbye!